Well, my dear viewers, we are here once again for our TV program, Where Are You Going? Today we have other two special guests, another Kevin and Anisha. They're going to speak about their testimonies, how their lives were before, how their lives are now. And we are also getting ready for these great events tomorrow. Learn to say no, 2 p.m. Here in our headquarters, number two, brought upstairs, Mariah Julius, opposite the gate. You know, Kevin, to, to, tomorrow the user are going to have a chance to learn how to say no because we have been preparing something very special and all the brands like the brands of Kevin, Anisha, that's San Fernando, they will come together in this great event and learn to say no. What is the use they can expect from this event, Kevin? Well, so the first thing you need to do <laughs> basically is to come. 2 p.m., you know, and just be there present because the youth have a lot to show to you. As you see, San, San Fernando is here with us today. And the other regions are going to be performing a lot of things that probably you yourself don't believe that could be taken part in church, as it is. Because, you know, we do this program with you every Friday. And those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, it is an opportunity for you to come this Learn to Say No event. And it is something that is really, really going to change your life. I want you to watch this video that speaks about this event. The Learn to Say No event is an event that has been taking part in all over the world. And tomorrow, Saturday, the first time in Trinidad and Tobago, this great event, Learn to Say No. You are also going to see the youth getting ready from different places, like the youth from the region of Chaguana. They made a video and they sent to us. And you are going to see the youth getting ready. Doesn't matter where you live, there are caravans coming from all over the country to the headquarters here, number two brother of Tess Mara Julius. Tomorrow, Saturday, 2 p.m., learn to say no. Watch this video, we'll be back with you. May God bless you all, White Lee G from Trinidad and Tobago. We are eating our brunch in Chaguanas Church with Kuluvia and Kuba together. We are ready for the event. Learn to say no! So Saturday in the evening, Port of Spain, number two brother, you are our special guest. God bless you. Youth from around Trinidad and Tobago, the YPG Youth Power Group invites you to the Learn to Say No event. Youths of Trinidad and Tobago, we are inviting you to the Learn to Say No event here in number two Broadway. I'll be there and I'm inviting you. This is a worldwide event. It has taken place in Brazil, USA, Philippines, Jamaica, Japan, and England and throughout the world. And now here for the very first time in Trinidad, many youths from around Trinidad and Tobago will display their skills and talent in drama, acting, singing, rap, performances by the voices of beat. Jesus is the way, he is your shining light. The devil tempted Jesus on top of hill. Sunny boy, sunny boy, look at your life. A and much more. You are invited to this event on the 22nd of August. Learn to sing. So we are here getting ready for this great event. And today we, are, we have our guests, Kevin and Anisha. Kevin, how was your life before you come to the church? And what inspired you to take part in the youth power group? Before I came to the Universal Church, I, wasn't, I didn't have any desire to do anything for God. I didn't have any desire to even be in church, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I was just out there in the world, going behind academics, you know, just study, 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 and be with friends, like, have a social life, and that was it. I had no place, God had no place in my life before. Mm -hmm. Right? So you were fighting for your dreams, if I yeah. can say. Like a normal youth, they want to achieve things, they want to study, they want a better position in the universe, a nice job. But how was your life inside? You going through uh, some moments that you wanted to achieve things and you didn't see what you wanted working out. What used to come into your mind? What kind of thought you used to have towards the situation we're going through? Well, I was like, well, even if people who talk to me like God can make it happen for you, I was just like, well, they can't have a God because I'm working hard, I'm trying, and doing everything that I thought was best academically mm -hmm. uh, to get to that position, to go after my dreams. And it wasn't happening, so doubt, negative thoughts, I was like, well, can't have a God, I can't achieve that, I can't do that. You see, maybe you're watching this program right now, you're in the same situation. Maybe your dream is like his dream, he had before, to achieve a better position in the university. You are a very good student, you study, you, you, you do everything well done, but you can't achieve what you want. You see, Kevin, maybe these youth, they are watching the program, they have dreams to achieve. 
and they don't know how to, to reach it. And we are here to help you. We have also here, Nisha, she had a different kind of situation she was going through. What you, how was your life before you come to the church? What kind of situation you were going through before you come? Before I came to church, I used to gamble a lot and drink lime. I didn't used to want to be at home at all. I used to be very depressed and frustrated, more angry at myself for not being able to do the things that I want. And sometimes I didn't used to think about what I wanted to do. I just live in day to day. It was just doing things to let the time pass because yes. if you, you stay doing nothing, you start thinking about your life, you get even more depressed. Yeah. You see? Maybe you are in a situation exactly like that and you don't know what to do. During this program, you are going to see with the, their testimonies, you are going to see, you are going to prove to you that it's possible for your life to change. It's not a matter of become a church goer, no, a church member, no. We are here to teach you that happiness is true and it can happen. As one day we came also in the YPG, we came also in the church with the life upside down, but today everything fell into place, Kevin, because we learned how to say no to certain things. Maybe you, your problem is that you can't overcome your negative thoughts about yourself as she had, but one day she had to overcome it, and that's the reason why we are here. That's true, because it's a, you know, as I was saying to him speak, you know, he was saying something very important with people tend to pay attention to their daily lives more than what it is God actually want from them. Mm -hmm. And then they expect to get an answer in such a way. So when it is that they program their mind every day to live this life, because I, I, I can tell you often, there are a lot of people today that they pursue their degrees, they pursue their masters, whatever school it is, and day and night they study. But because, you know, because of a certain particular situation they're probably facing within themselves or in their family, in their relationship, you know, their health, it could be anything. This person, they have, there's this hole, or this dark hole within them that is never really resolved or patched in a sense. And this person goes through this life working hard, as he said, working hard, but yet if somebody comes and tells them, well, there's a God that can really change their life, of course, as he said, the person is going to say, how could they have a God when I am facing this problem as it is? You see, but maybe you think like this as she used to think, he used to think, ah, there's no God because look how my life is. I'm doing my best and nothing works. There is a secret for you to overcome, my friend, to get with God. And you are going to learn it during this program. You are going to learn what they have done for their lives to move forward. I want you to watch more videos about this event. Learn to say no. Because if you learn to say no to certain things, you can also overcome as they overcame, and many other youths have been overcoming in the youth power group. Watch these videos that speak about this event, and we're back with you right after. Youth from around Trinidad and Tobago, the YPG Youth Power Group invites you to the Learn to Say No event. Youths of Trinidad and Tobago, we are inviting you to the Learn to Say No event here in number two Broadway. I'll be there and I'm inviting you. This is a worldwide event. It has taken place in Brazil, Brazil USA, 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 Philippines, Philippines Jamaica, Jamaica, Japan, Japan and, England, and England and throughout the world. And now here for the very first time in Trinidad, many youths from around Trinidad and Tobago will display their skills and talent in drama, acting, singing, rap, performances by the voices of beat. Jesus is the way, he is your shining light. The devil tempted Jesus on top of hill. Sunny boy, sunny boy, look catch a light. A and much more. You are invited to this event on the 22nd of August. Learn to sing. So we're back with you as you have been watching the program. You saw that we were speaking with Kevin and Anisha. Now you are going to understand how Kevin overcame the situation that he was going through. And also you can overcome. So Kevin, you had dreams to active. You were fighting hard to, to enter university, to get a better position in the university. So how, how you, you, you get through to overcome all this and have your dreams active? But Pastor, one thing I learned while attending the Universal Church is to be obedient. Mm -hmm. And once I started to, fo to be obedient to God, things happened in my life. My life changed. Um, I saw it happening in my financial life. As a student, I got a job on campus, so I was able now to get money for myself and not depend on my family. Um, I saw other opportunities open up, and then I was capable of facing challenges 
whether with friends or even academically. Um, being part of um, the Universal Church has not only showed me how to invest to f change my physical situation, but also to invest in my spiritual life. And being invested in my spiritual life gave me strength to move forward, and I was able to achieve a lot more in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I graduated from university. I got a job immediately after um, internship came to an end. When inter the internship was coming to an end, I got a, the job was extended. I'm employed. I was never out of work. So, my life is blessed. Being Knowing that God is there and he's providing for me, now I, I, I feel like I could give back. So that's why I'm part of the Universal Church YPG. And, you know, being there, I am able now to help the youths there to achieve their dreams. Help them not only with their physical situation, but also spiritually to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah, because their mind had to change. You see that his life changed when he changed his mind. Before, he thought that there was no God. But when he starts to find out for sure that he had to say no to certain things, a certain kind of thoughts that he had, he started to make his life to move forward. And he achieved his dreams. Now he's able to help you to achieve their dreams as well. Maybe you have a dream. It doesn't matter what this dream is about. Maybe to see your life, your family life transformed. Maybe you have problems with your parents and you, your dream is to get along well with them. Maybe your dream, as he wanted, to get a degree, to have a good job. You have your dream. And if he could achieve, you can also achieve. We have here also Nisha. She had problems, and she overcame her problems. Because she learned, for sure, she learned how to say no to certain things. Anisha, how did you get through to overcome the problems that you had? As you said before, you had depression, you had negative thoughts, all kind of things that were going on with your life. How did you get through to overcome all this? Well, firstly, I had to make up my mind to drop things that I know that was not good for me and what God would not accept. Because I made up my mind that you can't go to church and still be in the world and in church. I didn't want to be a hypocrite at all. But when I joined the youth group, I realized that there were people with tons, load of problems more than me. Mm -hmm. So I realized that I was really selfish and I'd be in the press with nothing. So trying to help other people, I help myself, I find my joy. And through doing it God's way instead of my own way, I'll be able to develop myself, my spirituality, be mm -hmm. happy, and to help others. Okay. So, really stress. Yeah. you had to abandon it. You said that you, were, you would not accept to be in the world and in the church. So, you had to put some things aside. What did you put aside that were bringing problems to you and you don't regret about it? Certain relationships, climbing, drinking. Um, Whoever have a drinking problem usually have people, friendship that go to Lyme together. Go. To. So you had, what you you decide by yourself to put this, all these things aside. Yeah, because I didn't want to be depressed. I don't want to be nothing like how I was before. I wanted a new life. I wanted everything to be different, and to be calm and peaceful. And I wanted joy, but I could not have before. That's what I found when I started to follow God's words. Okay. You know what, one question I want to ask you before, you know, what was the reaction of your friends that you were... Uh, this is something oh. very important. <laughs> you decided to <laughs> They were like, oh, you've been a hypocrite, you're going to church now, your feeling is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is for me, Miss Jesus. <laughs> you see, so this, this is what you probably feel. Yeah. yeah. This oh. is what you are, you know, afraid, afraid of. of. Because yes. you're thinking that your friends, you know, well, probably your so-called friends as it is, they're going to, you know, criticize it, they're going to judge it, they're going to blaspheme you, yeah. in this sense. Mm -hmm. And they're going to tell you a lot of things just for you to keep in your own bubble. And if, it's, mm -hmm. if it is that you decide to do this, if you don't make the change as Kevin and Anisha did, and they made that decision to, you know, come, receive the word, put it into action, you know, and be amongst the YPG, and do for others just our God did for us. Yeah. You can have this opportunity also, you know, to have a life that you always dreamed of. You have to learn how to say no to certain things. The only way that your life you move forward is if you learn to make up your mind as they did. If you realize their lives changed with things that they could have done before, but they never realize it. But when they come to the YPG, they come to the church, they come to the YPG, they learn it that they should say no to certain things in order to make their lives to move forward. 
That's the reason why we are going to have this event tomorrow, 2 p.m. For you that you want a change, a change your life, a chance to make your life to move forward. Many people, Kevin, the, I speak with both of Kevin, no? <laughs> many people, they are watching the program, they have dreams to achieve. And they don't know what to do, how to do it. There are youth that they watch the program right now, they see Kevin giving his testimony. And they think, I wish I could have a degree as well. I wish I could go to the university, but I don't have condition. My family background is not good. I didn't go to school properly. My friend, everything is possible when you believe. There are things that you have been doing that have been impeding you to reach where you want to reach. That's what we want to make you to understand. In this event, we are going to help you how you can discover what's the things that you, yourself, have been put in your own way, and if you say no to these things, your life will move forward. Yes, sure. And just as needed, you can do the very same thing. All of us, we, we face problems. But it's how you deal with this problem, how you are able to overcome. And you need to put in your mind that even though you are facing any difficulty in life, there is an opportunity that you can become successful. Because take, for instance, there are people who are actually successful. There are people who have degrees. There are people who have bachelors, masters, whatever the case. They have a good job, but there is something that is missing in this life that is causing this person to be incomplete with happiness. And that incompletion is what you can find here in the YPG. We are going to teach you basically how you can be successful, how you can become a happy person as it is. And you are going to be able to determine your future and the blessings in your life. So you want, you, if you want our help, you can send your message for these numbers in the WhatsApp that appear at the bottom of the screen. If you want more information about this event, because we are going to have a lot of activities. We have Voice of Faith practicing every day, practicing Sacrifice. a lot Sacrifice of songs, a lot of nice mm -hmm. songs you're going to hear. You're going to see the performance. You're going to see the other branches come to perform. We are going to have the youth from every branch, like the youth there from San Fernando. If you live in San Fernando, there will be a caravan coming from there. What's the address that they can go to, to find the caravan and come to this event? We come at 21 to 23 Mocarapo Street, San Fernando. You see there, in this address in San Fernando, they usually will be, get, be there getting together to come. What time you are planning to leave San Fernando to come here to Port of Spain? At 11.30 a.m. 11.30? Yeah. 11.30 a.m. Yeah. yeah. And the event is 2 o'clock. The event is 2 o'clock, 11.30 a.m. They're going to get together to come because they know that all the brands in the YouTube group, they will come together. And the, the headquarter here, number two broadly, of Sam Jules, will become small. It will become okay. small. And this event will be something amazing. I want you to watch these videos that speak more about the event. And we will back out right after. We're going to pray for you that you want, you want to change. But sometimes you need strength. You don't know how to do it. We will come back. We are going to pray for you and speak more about this event, how you can take part in it, and how important it is for our life. Watch this video and we'll be back with you right after.
just weed. I couldn't live without it. I thought it was okay. Then they introduced me to crack. It was so good. It made me feel so good. I needed to have more. I wanted more. Just a little. I lost everything, everything. Look at me now. I just want more. One more taste. Just one more. I didn't know how to say no. So you could watch the testimony of Kevin and Nisha, how their lives changed. If their lives changed, if they could achieve their dreams, you can also achieve your dreams. In the YPG, you are going to learn how to achieve your dreams, how to change your situation. Kevin, how, what you can tell these youths that they should be part of the YPG, why they should be part of the YPG, especially take part in this event tomorrow, learning to say no. As you said, Pastor, we would they would learn to say no. They would learn to say no to smoking, drinking, alcohol. You would learn to say no to the negative thoughts, the doubts that you know you can't achieve your dreams. You would learn to go after dreams. You would learn to actually achieve your dreams. Because maybe what impedes you to come is a thought like Anisha had. Mm. I, uh, I go to church, my friends, and this and that. So maybe this is more thoughts that you have that impede you to come to the YPG, impede you to achieve your dreams. Anisha, what you can tell this you that maybe they're going through a situation like you used to go, go through before. They want to come, they have been maybe watching the program, they have a, a, a desire, even maybe a small desire to come to the YPG, but they didn't come as yet because they think about what their friends you speak about then. What you have to say to these youths? Well, I would like to tell all the youths that you don't have to be alone, you don't have to suffer by yourself. There are people that will help you. You could always achieve your dreams. You'll always be successful. Once you follow God's path, everything in your whole life will change. You see, she decided. She decided and she's a witness that her, your life can change as well. As she said, you don't need to be alone. The YPG is a family. Doesn't matter your religious background. Doesn't matter what's your religion. We are not here to introduce church or religion to you. No. We are, we are here to introduce to you a way out that maybe you have been looking for many places and you never found it. Here in the YPG, 
you are not going to stop being a youth, normal youth, to have fun, to go out, no. But you are going to learn how to say no to things that you think that is normal, but end up destroying your future. Kevin, what you can tell these youths that they can expect coming this event tomorrow and every Sunday 1 p.m. In, in the youth power group? Well, one thing they could expect basically is a life change. And you could also expect a lot of fun activities that the youths do. We do a lot of things. You may probably think that, you know, church is a, a boring thing. No, 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 not in YPG, not here. Yeah. We have a lot of things that can interest you. And also, as you heard the testimonies, there are changes in your life that can happen. Their motivation can come. You know, you can gain recognition in your own life and you can become successful in anything that you put your mind to. So this is what, this is the idea, this is the motive behind the YPG. It's to help you, to benefit, to help you to succeed and to help you to overcome your life. I can tell you, Kevin and Anisha, both of Kevin and Anisha, <laughs> the YPG is a place for those who have dreams to achieve. If you have a dream to achieve, come to the YPG. Because for sure you're going to learn how to overcome every blockage and you're going to achieve your dreams. If you have dreams to achieve, you want to come out from the situation that you are right now, you have no strength, you can keep sending your text messages for these numbers that appear at the bottom of the screen, the WhatsApp, SMS, the email, and join us in this prayer right now. We are going to pray for you, for you to have strength, to say no to what has been impeding you to take actions towards your future, towards your life. Join us in this prayer right now. My Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray, my God, for the viewers that are viewing this program. Because, my God, we are hours away from a very big event, my God. And we ask that you speak to this person in this moment. Speak to this person, my God, so that they can receive, my God, your wisdom, your knowledge. My God, give this person encouragement to come this event and witness, my God, your glory, your honor in their life. My God, these people are looking and they are facing tragedies. They are facing struggles. This person lacks, my God, motivation in their lives. And they believe in themselves that they cannot move forward. So, my God, let this person be able to stand, my God, once again. If this person is down, my God, lift them up. If this person falls, my God, bring, my God, this person back to their feet. So that once more they can believe in themselves. And, my God, let this event learn to say no, be a big success to you so that my God lives can be transformed and my God souls can be one towards your kingdom in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. So now it's up to you. Tomorrow Saturday 2 p.m. number two brother upstairs Mariah Julius. The great event ever in Trinidad and Tobago. Learn to say no. You are going to watch this video. You are going to watch this video and prepare yourself. Tomorrow Saturday Learn to say no. Don't forget, before you think, before you do something about your life, think about Wait. where you're going. Youth from around Trinidad and Tobago, the YPG Youth Power Group invites you to the Learn to Say No event. Youths of Trinidad and Tobago, we are inviting you to the Learn to Say No event here in number two Broadway. I'll be there and I'm inviting you. This is a worldwide event. Salvation and governments them are class segregation. Political scams, yeah, tricks and corruption. Abuse them position to full.